Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Look, look what's happening. She's pretty much good to go. Engine's been checked over, uh, cable's been sorted, bilge pump replaced. So we're good to get back in the water and that's what today's about, getting back on the horse. If you don't know, last time I went out in this and fished with my buddy Jeff, we had a bit of an incident and we ended up capsizing it and ending up in the lake and it was a big drama. I made a video about all that, I'll link it up here. If you haven't seen it, click on that, go check it out. I'll bring it up to speed on why this is actually quite a big deal today. We're about 75% back in action. I was messing around with the Minn Kota last night and I found out that there's something not working with that. Um, I just assumed because it had power, it, it was fine, which was stupid of me. Yeah, that's not working, so I need to get that back in and get that sorted out. But I wanted to get back out on the boat as soon as possible and just kind of get that first trip kind of under my belt. It's a beautiful day. There's nobody here. There's no wind. It's supposed to be sunny later. It's kind of warm. I'm hoping to be able to at least use the boat to get to some places where I might even walk the edges, find a couple of cruisers. Yeah, I don't know. don't know. <laughs> if I can basically get to the end of the day without sinking the boat, jobs are good. All right, I'm going to get this guy in the water and we'll get to it. Let's go. Bung is in. That's good. Let's do it. kind of putted over to this this is about where this is about where it happened about here this is about where we capsized the boat so I felt like it was only right to start here where it finished last time um set up the rods I uh, might throw some streamers around for a little bit just kind of ease into the day and then just kind of start poking around and maybe looking for some some cruising fish on the edges as that sun gets up I'm hypersensitive to everything every little movement on the boat a couple of things I wanted to point out one big shout out to Killwell Sports for the new life jackets and just you know, just generally being good buggers and helping me out one major thing I've changed is this right here I've actually added my locator beacon because um, I normally have it on my hip pack I always have it on my hip pack because when I'm in a river, that's never off me ever. But when it all went down here, it was still on my hip pack and it was only by pure chance that uh, I managed to keep the hip pack with me uh, or it kind of ended up with us anyway. So the thing I took away from that is take the locator beacon off that and put it on my life jacket um, because I could very easily have lost that. So every time I'm on the boat now, I'm going to take my locator beacon and I'm going to put it on my life jacket. All right, let's get set up. I'll run you through what I'm using and then, um, yeah, we'll we'll put some casts around, wet a line. So I set up two rods, one for kind of an edge fishing for cruises, that kind of thing. I'll talk you through that a bit later in the video. Uh, but I'm going to start just by just stripping some streamers around some weed beds and some edges and just kind of drift around a little bit. And for that, I've got the Helios 3 6-way F. I've got the Mirage LT size 2 reel and I've just put on a brand new camo clear tip intermediate sink that's not what it's called but that's what it is it's a intermediate sink clear tip camo line lake line from scientific anglers and then i added a 12 foot tapered leader down to 3x to the end of that and then i put about maybe two feet of 4x off of that to just a little unweighted kind of woolly buggery type thing with a red tag just going to drift around a little bit sling this around just kind of find my rhythm get my flow and then uh, yeah we'll make it up from there I just put the Minn Kota down out the way really just to kind of keep it out of the way of my line but um it is it's kind of randomly working kind of intermittently should I say it kind of works for a bit then it doesn't work then it makes a funny noise then it works again for a bit and then it just completely shuts down so it's definitely not it's definitely not quite right man it's a beautiful morning yeah so we ended up beaching the boat or getting the boat to that point over there and then what we had to do was then make our way on foot all the way around down to those back bays all the way around then way down to that corner there we had to swim another channel there and then get all the way around all the way over there 
and then way back over there it took ages hours it took us hours it was a mission <clears throat> quite amazing that we actually uh, managed to do it to be fair see a fish cruising Thing. Just ignored it totally. Okay, so I've actually beached the boat here because there's a weed bed just around the corner there that I've seen a couple of fish moving on the inside of. I can see one moving on the other side. So I'm gonna try and get to these guys by foot. I'm a bit more stealthy. But funnily enough, this is almost exactly like right about there is where we ended up getting the boat to when we had our little incident. And this is where we sorted our lives out. And then we had to go around and get back to the boat went way over there. But uh, yeah, Jeff, if you're watching, mate, <laughs> you'll remember this. <laughs> there was a bit more water in that boat last time. but. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go around here, spend some time on foot because there's fish moving and patrolling these weed beds and take the uh, take the five weight and see if I can get one of these guys. Just see this coming over, looking. Fish. Another fish. Don't move. It's a good fish. Two fish swam under my flies and just didn't even look. Hang on, coming over for a look maybe. Give a little twitch, it's right on it. Right on it. Oh, that got his attention. Oh, I think he ate that. Yep, he ate it. Shit. Oh, mate, I had that fish in like a foot of water and I just gave the just gave the fly just a little twitch and he came over saw his mouth go and I lifted and he was just facing me there's nothing I could do and he just he was out of there but wow it's cool to watch uh, I had three or four fish around my feet basically just then oh I can see fish over there this is this is cool I want to stay here all day if this camera's on look at that man I've got a tiny little damsel fly on <clears throat> unweighted real small Gonna try that. It's definitely that kind of behaviour. Got a fish a rod length out, looking at me. Good brown. Just trying not to move. Just be in a tree. Oh, it's watched me off the bottom, that's wicked. Fish moving out the back of him. Working that weed bed. Where did you go? Come in. Oh, I had luck. Oh, shit. Got caught in the weed. Too tiny dry fly because I'm sure he's taken off the top quite a lot. Looks like it. Oh, come on. What are you 
you eating? You should see this, he's coming over. Oh, he definitely saw that. 100%, just didn't want it. Come on, that's right on your path, eat it. Oh, I went under it. Fish coming back, the other way. Coming up, nope. What are you eating? Coming up, oh, rejected. What do you want? Okay, all right, I've got a tiny, single, unweighted sock tackle. I mean, they're just chewing on stuff. I haven't gotten to look at like a woolly bugger, a small woolly bugger, down to a fly kind of thing, but I had them reject my dry fly. Going over. Got him! Nice! Ooh, that's a good fish. Yep. That was cool. He uh, swam past it, turned around like a 360, and then just went straight back. Here's my net. Good fish. Yeah. Come on, baby. Big shoulders on him. Ooh. Come on. Had to get those shoulders up. Come on, buddy. Almost, almost, almost. Come on, come on. That's the one. Almost. Dude, that is a really good fish. Come on. Yeah! Ha oh, ha! Oh. Redemption, baby. Redemption. Wow, that's a cool fish, dude. <sighs> yeah. that fish it was big and golden and gnarly and just that was a badass fish and it took a uh, size 16 like unweighted soft tackle um just a real plain one uh, it was kind of cool because i popped it out there and he swam past it circled back thought about it and then ate it saw his mouth go poof, and then we were into it my word that was that was awesome what a beast of a fish jeff we're redeemed, mate. We're redeemed on the corner where it all went so wrong. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna eat something, and then drift around a bit. I might go find try and find some more of these because there's fish moving in these weed beds, so I wouldn't mind a bit more of that, to be honest.
just, I was just motoring along, the Minn Kota's packed right in. Um, but I remember as Jeff and I were walking out of here after the incident, coming around to this bay and going, oh yeah, okay, this looks pretty good. Could be fish here. So I kind of came back around here on my way, just looking around and saw a fish moving a wee bit over there. Kind of gave it a wide berth, kind of came in on the main motor because the Minn Kota's toast. It just won't work at all now. And then just was getting myself ready. I've just seen two browns there and another fish move over by the weed bed. So I'll give this some time. See if we can get another one. There's one. Don't move. Be a tree. Uh, just got a soft hack along from those last fish. So I might just stick with that if I get a shot at a cruising fish. Oh, there's one over on the weed bed. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I see that bow wave behind me. That's fish. He's moving quick. Oh, what's going on there? You know, he's just he's just smashing around the place. Just hiding in behind these reeds here. And just waiting. Waiting for one of them to come back on their beat. He's way over there. And I'll see if we can get a fly in front of one of them. Here comes one. Right on the edge of the weed bed. It's pretty good. You should see it sped up. Didn't do nothing. Okay. Fly change, just change to <clears throat> a different soft tackle. Fit and tailing. I'll show it to you in a second. It's the same one I caught that first fish on. You'll see it, that's for sure. Give it a twitch coming over. Got him! Nice! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Sick! Just a little twitch to get his attention. Came over and then just saw his mouth go. Oh, mate! And another good brown. Ooh. Oh mate, unhappy. Fair enough. You got yourself super. Oh, there we go. No, you're all wrapped up. Oh, so wrapped up. Oh, dude. You are all wrapped up. Oh, what? Can I go into the boat? Let me just go. Ah, we're good. We're good. We're good. <sighs> Holy! Oh, mate! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't even see you. Gotcha. Nice. Whoo! Wow! What a stunning fish! Oh my god! Man, the thickness! She is so thick! That is mega! She is beautiful! I mean, look! spectacular fish right um just condition factor was just unreal oh that was cool just saw her coming back around the weed bed pop my fly out there kind of she was just looked like she hadn't seen so i gave her just a little twitch to get her attention and she just changed came over saw her mouth go a couple of times and lifted and it was her oh that was epic that was 
epic. What a beautiful fish. Don't really know what else to say. Um, I'll show you that fly. I also said I was going to talk you through what I was uh, using today, right? So this is the Helios 3 5 weight F, the Mirage LT size 2 reel in the cool burnt orange that I love so much. On there you've got the Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line from Scientific Anglers to a seven foot floating poly leader, down to a tippet ring, and then I've got about six feet of 3X to about three feet of 4X um, off of that. And then, yeah, I've got a little size 16, probably not gonna see that too well. I've got a little size 16, I don't know what it's called, soft tackle thing, pheasant tail soft tackle from NZ Fishing Flies uh, on a barbless hook, and that's caught both of those fish today. Gotta love a soft tackle, right? I'm gonna sort all this out and then uh, I find another one of them. issue going on, slight technical issue. Uh, it's kind of cruising down, everything seems fine, and now the engine keeps doing that. I have no idea what that is, so I'm gonna uh, limp my way back to the boat ramp, I think. I don't know what that is. Maybe fuel line, something going on with the fuel. It's a bit weird, don't like it. And it looks like we're not out the woods yet. I think I can make it back. <laughs> So I'm on my way back to the boat ramp because of the uh, engine issue, but figured seeing as I'm, you know, pretty much, pretty much there, I'm going to try and, uh, try and catch me a fish on the way back. Oh yeah, I was stung by a bee as well. <laughs> Never ending. Fish just moved there. Okay, so we made it back to the boat ramp, like literally really limped back to the boat ramp. Bummer. I mean, I didn't sink the boat, so that's a bonus, but I'm gonna have to take it back to the guys at Trev Terry and get them to try and work it out, because I know nothing about boats. Something needs to be done about that engine. Something needs to be done about the Minkota. So we're not out the woods yet, guys. The saga continues. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get this out of the water and on the trailer and then uh, catch up with you then. Back on the trailer, safely and in one piece. So that's all good. Sorry about the abrupt ending to this video, but yeah, I really wasn't expecting that. That's a bummer. I was enjoying myself there and caught a couple of beautiful fish. Would have liked to have grabbed a couple more of those or at least had a shot at a couple more of those. Um, I guess more than anything, I'm a bit bummed that this isn't, this isn't fixed. Kind of starting to lose my confidence in my gear and that's never a good thing. So I will take this back into town and I'll drop by the boys at Trev Terry and uh, yeah, ask them what they think. I've got to book it back in and get, and get this Minkota sorted anyway. So 
We're not quite out of the woods yet. We'll get there, we'll get there. Thanks to those of you that have donated some money to help me try and get this going again. I uh, really appreciate it. And it goes a long way to try and get this stuff back, back on track. It's not cheap. All right, so I'm gonna grab me, gonna grab me some Go Native, eat that, have a drink, get on the road, and then uh, get back into town and see see what I can do about getting 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 old Loopy sorted again. Hopefully I can make some kind of video out of this because those fish definitely deserve being seen. Spectacular fish. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have a great weekend, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.